the purpose for the collaboration of the group work was so that students have a chance to um, explain their thinking to others and learn from each other. Some students grasp the content and the ideas very quickly. Others need a second to process and maybe listen to someone else in order to collect their ideas. So it gives everyone a chance to learn from one another in a different way and maybe see it differently than the other person saw it. So let's start off and let's look at our objective. So can everyone turn and face the objective for me? Okay. Would anyone like to read that nice and loud to us? Diego, would you like to read that? Please. Students will understand ra ratios and relationships and be able to compare strategies to their discussions. Mm -hmm. So let's kind of break it down. So students will understand. What's it mean to understand? BJ? Like meaning. Meaning, okay, so the meaning of it. Anyone else want to add to that? Okay. Ratio relationships. So let's take a second, let's think about what do we know about ratio relationships? What do we do when we're the listener? Wait, what, Elena? We look at them. And what if we're the speaker? What do we do? We speak loud and clear. Do we look away from them? No. no, we face them. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that. So talk with your elbow partner. What do you know about ratio relationships? Can you tell me why is it important to have a clear objective in your class? So that we can know what we're going to do today, what we're going to learn. I think it's important to talk about ratios because it gives kids, students a purpose and a reason as to why they're doing it. Um, then we can also relate it to the real world so that they understand exactly where they want to go and why we're doing this, not just we're doing it because it's a standard. Triple in the bottom. We all want to know how to do the same thing. You got to do double, 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 triple, triple. That's three to two. Three dollars. Uh, yeah. At your table, real quick, look and see what strategies everyone used to solve the problem, okay? I had students work in groups um, because I think it's important that they get ideas off of each other. I saw like how to work with the graph with ratios combined because in elementary school I know how to do it with graphs but I didn't know how to do it with ratios so we combined it now I know how to do it with ratios and graphs combined. So skip counting, so what did you say? What was your strategy? Multiplying and you said skip counting. Are those similar? Kind of? Okay. Dividing, okay. Multiply. What else can we do? I saw people using tape, um, tape diagram, number number line, and division, and we got a talking stick. We use it, we use it for, we like pass it around. And whoever has it, you have to like have eye contact and uh, like listen to what they're saying. And if you have it, like you have like almost everyone attention. All right, so now that we've shared this problem, let's look back at our rating scales. So everyone look back at your scale. Okay, and we're gonna rate ourselves again. Okay, this time think about after this problem, how do you feel? Have you grown in your understanding of our objective? How do you feel about it? Okay, take a second and think what would you give yourself? A four, you understand and you can teach this to someone. A three, you understand and can do it by yourself. A two, you're beginning to understand. And a one, you don't understand it yet. So go ahead now and rate yourself. Give yourself a number. What would you give yourself? Let me see one. Let me see your rating. How would you rate yourself? Okay. Did some of you move up in how you rated yourself from the beginning? Yes. Yes. Okay, good.